Assalamu alaikum everybody. Today we will be differentiating all the four species of Clostridia, which include Clostridium perfringens, Clostridium tetani, Clostridium botulinum, and Clostridium difficile. But before getting into the video, I'd like to tell you guys that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comments section. Grab a pen and a notepad and let's get started. Clostridium perfringens. You can see the plus sign or the positive sign on the right side of every bacterium. Why? Because all of them are gram positive rods. The second point is all of them are anaerobes. Then we've got Clostridium perfringens that is non motile, while the Clostridium tetani, botulinum, and difficile, all of these three are motile. All the four species of Clostridia release certain toxins. For Clostridium perfringens, the toxins are alpha toxin, enterotoxin, beta, epsilon, and iota. For Clostridium tetani, the toxins are tetanospasmin and tetanolysin. For Clostridium botulinum, the toxin is botulinum toxin. For Clostridium difficile, it is the two exotoxins that are released by this bacterium. The first one is enterotoxin A and the second one is cytotoxin B. All these four species of Clostridia are responsible for producing spores in conditions where they find it difficult for them to survive like the environmental conditions are not favorable to their growth. The Clostridium perfringens is responsible for causing food poisoning and gas gangrene that is also called Clostridial myonecrosis. Clostridium tetani, as its name shows that, it is responsible for causing tetanus with its famous symptom lockjaw. Clostridium botulinum is responsible for causing botulism, which is commonly known as flaccid paralytic disease, while the Clostridium difficile is responsible for causing antibiotic-associated pseudomembranous colitis, specifically the antibiotic is clindamycin. And there are certain other antibiotics, if you want to know about them, just watch the complete video on Clostridium difficile. I've got complete videos on all the four species. If you're interested, do watch them. And the second disease caused by Clostridium difficile is the diarrhea, the nosocomal diarrhea that is acquired from the hospital. Clostridium perfringens looks like that under the microscope. It is rod-shaped bacteria elongated one right clostridium tetani looks like that under the microscope this is drumstick or tennis racket shaped bacterium having spore in it clostridium botulinum looks like that under the microscope it has got rod shaped bacterium also the tennis racket or drumstick shaped and the last one clostridium difficile looks like that under the microscope it is rod shaped elongated and that's it for today's video i hope you now know the major differences between all the four species of clostridia and i'll catch you in the next video till then assalamu alaikum